there was a company that I worked for as a kid out of college um, called Metricom Ricochet. What did they build? They built something called the Ricochet Wireless Modem. Back in 1997, I was able to connect a modem to my Toshiba laptop serial port connection and go to prodigy.com. That company taught me and gave me the energy, the passion, that feeling of being ahead of the game. Mm. But what I also learned is the GTE mobile nets, known as Verizon today, all these big telecoms, they were building 3G networks silently. They didn't want this little company to succeed because it was too easy. We just went around and popped pole top radios across the country utilizing existing, mind you, light poles. Existing light poles. You know why? Because there's already electricity. So we stuck microcellular pole top radios underneath the light pole, tapped in before that whole sunlight sensor or whatever turns the light on and off, right? Mm -hmm. So there's constant power to the radio. That radio, every quarter mile, communicates with one another called a mesh network. That's how we were able to give customer internet was that through wireless interconnectivity, connected to ground wire internet, allowed this little modem to give me wireless internet access in 1997.